In this lesson, we will review the pitlock protocol of transeptal puncture that consists of sequential steps of practice, identify, track, locate, optimize, and finally crossing the interatrial septum. In this video, we will go over a methodical approach to the transeptal puncture. In the preparatory phase, the echocardiographer must establish and practice acquisition and display of the most suitable echo windows for the visualization of the septal rims. In this video, the anteroposterior rim is being seen in the reference plane at 33 degrees of scan plane rotation, and the lateral plane showing the superior and inferior rims is seen at an orthogonal rotation of 123 degrees. These views must be practiced multiple times before the start of the actual transeptal puncture. During the identification process, the septal puncture needle is identified echocardiographically in continuity from IVC to the SVC. The midesophageal bicaval window is acquired to positively identify the septal puncture needle going from the IVC to the SVC. The key point is to locate the entire length and particularly the tip of the needle for optimal tracking. During this step, the septal puncture needle tip is tracked from the SVC to the fossa ovalis. It is important to identify the needle tip and continuously track it during motion to prevent inadvertent septal injury from misidentification of the shaft as the needle tip. The best way to achieve it is to track the acute reverberation artifact of the needle tip during its motion. At this stage, the location of the maximal septal indentation in the fossa ovalis is established. The key point at this stage is to simultaneously demonstrate the maximal indentation with the superior, inferior, and anteroposterior rims. This may require elevational adjustments of the lateral plane for optimal display. Also, once the indentation has been identified, it should always be kept in view. At this stage, the operator makes fine adjustments of the needle position. The distance of the septal puncture site from the plane of the mitral annulus should be around 4 cm, and it is measured in the midesophageal four-chamber view. A septal puncture guide of a known radius can be used to facilitate quick measurement. Once the measurement of the distance from annular plane has been made, simultaneous orthogonal images of the septum are displayed again to confirm the optimal position and exclusion of needle drift from its original position. At this stage, the septal puncture is performed. In the final step, the needle is visualized to puncture the interatrial septum and cross over from the left to the right side. There is considerable motion of the needle and it is important to echocardiographically track this motion and confirm the needle position after crossing of its presence in the left atrium. In this lesson, we have reviewed the various steps of the Petlock protocol of septal puncture. It is critical that these steps of practice, identification of the site, tracking the needle, location of the site, optimization of needle position, and crossing be followed faithfully and completely to optimize septal puncture site selection, enhance, enhance the safety and conduct of the percutaneous intervention.